So once again, folks, I'm here doing a review. I have actually come to the uh, town of Wigston. Uh, me and the ginger one over there eating sausage and chips. <laughs> and uh, what well, you have, curry or gravy? You always ask for gravy, but you mean curry. Yeah. Uh, so she got that. I've got cotton chips and um, I've been to Grimsby Fisheries. And um, the people, I've had, uh, there's a lot of Leicester fans who follow me. And uh, it's appreciated and all that. And they keep saying, try Grimsby Fisheries. So anyway, me and the ginger one have had to get up this morning. Well, we haven't got to get up, but we've got up. We've been to uh, the KP. Uh, we've got our membership cards for next year. And uh, we're going to take a few games in, ain't we, Ginge? Yeah. We are. Come on, Blue Army. And uh, we've had to go around Primark. And I, I tell you what, right, we just walked through the town centre. And I just cannot understand how many people can have kids with them and let them think that these shops are playgrounds. It's just like kids running all over the place, picking stuff up, chucking it on the floor, having tantrums. Oh, he's kicked me. He deliberately trod on my toe. Just <laughs> whack them round the head, behave yourselves, and get on with it. Just be, show a bit of respect to everybody else. It's just unbelievable the amount of people that have got kids that are all out of control. So anyway, back to the important thing of me not putting the world to right, but me eating the world to right. This is where I've been. Grimsby Fisheries. Now look at that. What a piece of cod that is. Um, I didn't have any peas or anything like that. Because uh, Ginger's had the curry. And how is the curry, Ginger? Nice. Nice. I the curry. Is... say it like that. No, you don't say it like that, but I do. It, the curry is nice, apparently. Um, how is the, bot the battered sausage? Nice. Battered sausage is nice. And um, I, I didn't want a lot to eat. Because I tell you what, it's that bloody hot at the moment. It's, it's like 120 degrees. So anyway, here we go. Let's just um Oh my god That is bloody good Freshly cooked Cod Oh That batter is tremendous. I went, if you've been watching my videos of us on a holiday, there's more videos of us on a holiday to come. I went to a place called Mrs. T's. Ginger's just burnt. And it was absolutely stunning, right? The wife, June, she only, she likes cod, but... We said the other day that June will only eat cod from Mrs. T's. That is wrong. June will only eat cod from Mrs. T's um, that's open like this. June only June's a fussy eater kind of thing. Well, she's not a fussy eater, but it has to be cod and it has to be cooked a certain way. And Mrs. T's do it the right way. But this... Look at that. Nice big lumps of cod. Oh. That batter. It's nice, isn't it? Mmm. That is really, really tasty batter. I can't remember the people who have been telling me to come here to try this. But there again. There's been that many telling me to come here. I've lost track. But the thing is, to come here, it's, I have to do a special trip. And this trip has been, well, I should have come here earlier. I should have stopped messing about. Mmm. Mmm, God. So you walk into Grimsby Fisheries. Right, I'm trying not to eat with my mouth full here because some people are moaning. Thing is, right, when you're doing this, you can criticise, and I can either listen or not, but you go and do yourself a little review, a food review, or something like this, record it like this, and watch it back, and see how you get on. Because if I stopped, eat... With the mouth shut, every time, this video would be about 15 days long. It can't be done. 
So why don't you go and do your own video, watch it back, and see how you get on. And then try and do it where you try to make it shorter and shorter, right? Because people don't just want to watch me eat. They want to watch this while they're having a dump or <laughs> eating the breakfast or whatever and move on. So if you're that good at it, set your own channel up. Oh my God. Look at that. Now that is absolutely outstanding. Now, uh, like I say, uh, I went into the shop and they have got a Greek part, a Greek salad section. Then they've got the fish and the chips. Uh, they've got a restaurant. They do kebabs. Did they do kebabs? I'm sure they did kebabs, didn't they? I, I, can't... Look, yeah. I don't know. I can't remember now. Do they do kebabs? If they do kebabs, leave comments below. And uh, they've got a restaurant area. They've got the Leicester City badge as you walk in on the... Uh, above the door mm. it's bloody hot that's burnt me but this is absolutely brilliant I'm going to have to bring June over here and see what she thinks of this now I'm going to move on to the chips the chips are the potatoes are new potatoes so new potatoes never taste as good as the old ones do they I don't know why I don't know if it's I'm actually sitting opposite Green Hill Road in Wigston. Uh, what's the name of that road over there, Ginge? Something place? Well, I'm looking. You see where that old car, car is? I can't see where you're looking. Oh, oh. I can't see it. No, it's, it's a bit on the, it's on the piss, isn't it? Um, so, I'm just trying to tell you where I am. Parked outside somebody's house with the old disabled thing on the uh, road. Then disabled things on the road. Is it only that person who can park there who lives in that house? Or is it, say, somebody who lives around the corner who's got a disabled badge? Can they park there? I'm just wondering, that's all. Anyway, the potatoes, the chips are lovely as well. To be fair, at a place like this, in, in, Grimsby, uh, in Grimsby, in the middle of Wigston, this place is going to do well because everything is always fresh. Everything we had to actually wait for chips when we moved in, uh, walked in. Okay. No, we didn't move in, but I would move in. I would move in, Ginge, because this is absolutely stunning. The batter is tremendous. Oh, I've got to say hello to the lad who stopped me as well in the car. Told me watched all my videos, uh, took a photo, and he's going to put it on his group chat. Perhaps really appreciate it. I should ask for your name. Um, I need to say hello to the lad who, um, who are, who are, Cantona, uh, who I saw in um, Bargain Hunt, uh, Bargain Hunt, oh, it's true. Own Bargains in Loughborough yesterday. Hello to you, mate. You're a big lad. Oh. I'll tell you what, folks, this is worth the drive. If you're not... I mean, we're from Loughborough. And we're over here just for a bit of shopping and get the membership card. Well, if you have to do the same, drive out this way, and you're a bit peckish, just make the effort to go to Grimsby Fisheries. It is absolutely brilliant. Mm. Oh. Do you want all your chips, Ginge? It's too hot. Chips are too hot. It's in the weather. Hot chips. Oh, this is absolutely. The people who live near Grimsby Fisheries in Wigston. In Leicester, are so lucky to have this place. This is a crown jewel in the city of Leicester. Leicester.
Right, folks. I'm thinking of doing a Leicester City thing for the new season. Because although I won't be going to every game, <clears throat> me and Ginger, we will hopefully get a fair few in. So I'll be able to talk about it a bit more and properly and like that. So what I want to do is I'm going to learn how to edit. Not major editing, Not I'm not going to try and... But what I want to do is I want to bring my camera to the KP and I want to interview a few people outside the ground. What? Yeah, what? Oh, no. Nothing major. Just ask them what the plans are, what, the pl what they think Leicester will do <laughs> and all that kind of thing, what players we need, um, you know, and just how we feel at that time in the season. So... Oh, my God. What's up with you? I don't want to go now. That's so bad. You can go and sit in the ground, can't you? I bloody will. Chewing on your bloody up dog. I will. You will. You're right, you will. Going up to people. Yeah, well, what am I going to do then? I'll tell you to go away. Well, how about... All right, here's a little, here's a little um, survey. If Blue Van Man came up to you with a camera and wanted to ask you a few questions about Leicester City... Yeah, but they know you. Well, that's the whole idea of knowing me, isn't it? Well, not everyone's going to know you. I will be known well. <laughs> if I go around asking this and put put this out on YouTube, oh, oh God, kids, who'd have them? I tell you what, if you're thinking about having kids, think again. So I'm thinking about doing that. If you think it's a good idea, give me a uh, what can we give them? I tell you what, if it's a good idea, give me a blue army. No, give me a blue Van Man army. And if you think it's a bad idea, just put bad idea. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. Well, I'm going to finish eating these chips and this fish. I'll probably finish off Ginger's chips as well. But once again, if you're in the Leicester area, or if you're not in the Leicester area, and you're just passing through and you see Grimsby Fisheries, pop him and say hello. It, you won't be disappointed. Laters.